After a day full of shopping for yourself, maybe your friends or family, today is all about giving back to the community. The day after Cyber Monday is now referred to as Giving Tuesday. Kate Whitehall is live in South Austin this morning to let you know how to take advantage of donating today. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Brian. Yeah, the idea for Giving Tuesday has only been around since 2012, believe it or not. A community center in New York City started the idea, and the whole purpose of it is to be able to provide money to nonprofits that may not normally receive these donations. Now, the United Way of Greater Austin is using this day to give back to the St. John's community. Tonight, they're going to have a community tree lighting at Webb Middle School, and we'll hand out free books to the kids. Hundreds of books from local book drives have been collected just for tonight. We really wanted to have these wonderful families that live in St. John's that may find it difficult to have transportation to see some of the other lights in town, to have something that's in their own community that they can be proud of and can love. And the tree lighting for the St. John's community takes place from 4.15 to 6 p.m. at the Webb Middle School. HEB donated cookies and hot chocolate, which will definitely be needed tonight. And Cap Metro donated the tree. Coming up in 30 minutes, we are going to talk to a local company called Sevenly that's using clothing as a way to give back. More on that at 6.30. For now, we're live in South Austin. Kate Wydock, KXAN News. Okay, thanks, Kate. So before you donate to a charity this season, it is a good idea to review the organization to make sure it's trustworthy. So the Better Business Bureau has five things you need to keep in mind. First of all, watch out for copycats with similar sounding names. Also, look at the whole picture, not just the finances. A good financial ratio doesn't always mean a charity is well managed. And don't be pressured into giving a donation when you're not ready. Keep your emotions in check, and remember that con artists will often strike when your emotions are running high. And finally, research charities before you give. Both the Better Business Bureau and GuideStar are good sources of information. 